Question one is, Antonio is an artist living in the Mornington Peninsula. His business is called Antonio's Arts. Now, accounts balance for Antonio's Arts provided in this table below are as at the 31st of May 2012. Please make note of the date because you'll be asked to calculate something based on this date. So the date's important. Okay, please make note of it. Now we've given a list of account balances. Some of them look like balance sheet and then some of them look like they could be, uh, well it could be, R uh, for the income statement. And then we have this additional information down below here. Now it says depreciation has not been recorded for either the motor vehicles or the building for the year ended 31st of May. The vehicle is being depreciated at 15% per annum using the reducing balance method and the building is being depreciated at 2% per annum using the straight line method. It also says that the sales figures include amounts of 10,000 each that were received in advance by um, Antonio for painting he promised to complete and delivery by the 30th of June 2012. So far he has completed one of the paintings which he delivered in 2000, May 2012. So it's telling me that there might be some accruals that we need to take into account. Okay? Now, first things first. It says the requirements is an income statement for Antonio's Arts for the year ended 31st of May 2012. Okay? Now, we go back to what we always do, which is we need to now classify. So we classify as income, expense, current assets, non-current assets, current liabilities, non-current liabilities, and equity. Okay? That's the classifications I need to for these. And this is the bulk of what we need to do. Okay, so is accounts payable? Which one of these classifications would accounts payable be? Current liability, I agree. What about accounts receivable? Current assets? Advertising expense? Yeah, it's easy, there's the word expense. So that's an expense. Capital? Equity? Drawings? Equity as well. Buildings, less accumulated depreciation. Fixed assets, which we call non-current assets. Cash at bank. Current asset. Electricity expense. Yeah, it's got the expense word in there. Usually if it has that word expense, we know it's expense. So the next one, interest expense. Interest receivable. Income or current asset, I will go for current asset. The word receivable means that we may have recognised the income but we haven't yet received it. So it means there's someone going to be giving us some future economic benefit. Cost of goods sold? Expense. Salaries expense? Yeah. Salaries payable? Current liability, yep, we owe. Payable means owe, so that means that we have a sacrifice of future economic, uh, future economic benefit. What about sales? Income. Supplies. Now we've got supplies and supplies expense here. Now I'm going to put that one straight into expenses. Now this is indicating to me that we've got some form of inventory of supplies. So supplies, what would we put supplies under then? current asset. And what about motor vehicle less accumulated depreciation? Non-current asset. Alright. So now we've done the bulk of what we need to do. Now it says an income statement for uh, or a statement of financial performance for Antonio's art for the year ended 31st of May. So I can start doing my very first question. Uh, well, actually, I started doing it just a little while ago, but I can start writing down some stuff for my very first question. Now, it's got here depreciation has not been recorded for either motor vehicle or the buildings for the year ended 31st of May. 
The vehicle is being depreciated at 15% per annum. So let's work on just doing the depreciation for the vehicle because it says it has not been recorded. Okay? And we need to depreciate at 15% per annum. So how do we go about doing that? All right. So we need to calculate depreciation because depreciation... So depreciation expense for my motor vehicle. Okay, now we've got an amount here of $14,000. So I'll just put that, even though it says uh, accumulated depreciation, it only gives me one amount, is 14000 How much is my depreciation rate? 15%. So I times it by 15%. Whoops, I'll just do that 15% there. And now I'll get how much? Go to my calculator. 14,000 times 0.15 equals 2,100. So I've got 2,100 as my depreciation expense. Now I need to do the same thing for my buildings. Now this, even though it says this is the reducing balance method, so this is reducing balance, it doesn't give me, in my question, it doesn't give me any other indication of what my depreciation amounts are. So my only option is to multiply by my 15% to give me my solution of $2,100 for depreciation of motor vehicles. Okay, my buildings, we work on the same principle. What's my building worth? It's worth $180,000, so my cost. My depreciation is 2%. So how much does that equal? Three thousand six hundred. So three thousand six hundred is my. Uh, that's for motor vehicles. This is for building. Okay. Is there any other things I need to? work out. The sales figures include two amounts of 10,000 each. Now what I'll do is I'll now adjust my buildings by 3,600 and make that 176,400. So I realise that there is more accumulated depreciation there. And the same for my uh, motor vehicles. Uh, adjusting it by 2,100, so that will make 11,900. Now it says that my sales figures include two amounts of 10,000 each that were received in advance by Antonio for paintings he promised to complete and deliver by the 30th of June. So far he's completed one painting which he delivered on the 14th of May. Now the 14th of May indicates that it falls within my accounting period of the 31st of May. So what I need to do then is I need to adjust my income here for um, 10,000. Uh, so that makes 160,000. And of course I'll have an account accrued income of 10,000, which is a current liability. Now that means I've classified everything that I need to classify in my... So I've ticked off my depreciation, I've ticked off my sales, and I've allocated all my accounts as I see fit and adjusted where I needed to adjust. So let's start doing our income statement. 